Hi guys, welcome back. So, um, we have COVID. Uh, nothing we could do about it now. My, I knew it was coming. Um, at Christmas, my daughter had gone to her boyfriend, her fiance is not boyfriend, her fiance's house. And they were very careful. I can't even get mad at it because it, they were very careful. People got tested beforehand. They uh, they all they wear masks. Well, the sister wasn't feeling great, and it was more like a cold was coming on. And she's the one who's ultra careful. I mean, ultra careful because she's got an underlying condition. So. Everybody's always careful around her. Well, she tested negative for it. And then the day after Christmas Eve, well, I guess Christmas Day, um, she was still feeling worse than she was. And uh, she took a rapid test and it came back positive. So she had now just exposed to everybody that was at the house that night. And there was like, I think, nine people. And uh, everybody but one has it. It was a super spreader event. And the funny thing is that they were all only together for three hours. And they social distanced from each other. Like nobody was sitting on top of each other. They... They stayed apart, they pre-tested, they washed hands, they did everything they were supposed to do. And my daughter is pretty good about, I mean, because her job is very strict with her. Um, her boss is really sweet, but very fearful of COVID. So even like at work, like they're not even allowed to like go near each other at her job and, uh, they always, it's mandatory, even though they don't deal with the public. They do deal with the public, but not, they don't let the public into the place. Um, so she, uh, she's been really good. And well, last night, uh, I knew that she wasn't feeling good during the day, but she's got, um, they call tonsil stones. She's had them since she was a little girl. She gets these little nodules in her throat on her tonsils. She probably should have gotten her tonsils out eons ago. Um, but they don't do that anymore. Uh, she always came in under the radar, like, one more time getting sick, and she gets her tonsils out, and then she wouldn't get sick, and then the next season would come, and she would get to that last point. Um well, my kids were like that. They would take it right to the last second, and then the doctors were like, no, they, they don't fit the criteria for it. So she had some tonsil stones uh, yesterday, and uh, so her throat was hurting her. And uh, But at nighttime, she developed the fever, and she's been body achy for the last couple days since I would say day two of incubation from that party, the super spreader party. Um, she's been, her and her fiance have been uh, symptomatic and which was okay because then we all, we all tried, it didn't work to isolate ourselves from them. They weren't allowed to, out of their room. They had to wear Masks, you know, all the nine yard, it did nothing. Absolutely nothing. We still got, and I'm not saying it doesn't help. I mean, I'm sure there are people out there that don't catch it because they wear masks and gloves, but it didn't, it just didn't work for us. So, uh, today she doesn't have the body aches as bad as yesterday. Yesterday, she, she, last night, she ran a high fever. And I don't know if I told you that um, she ended up going over to her mother-in-law's and she's going to uh, run the course of the COVID over there. Um, only because the mother lives by herself and's already had it. The mother had it like 
like a month or two ago. And so um, it's safer for them to have it over there than it is for them to be here. And the mother is taking really good care of them. She says, you know, anything they need, they're, they're just all hunkered down there. And, and I feel bad for the mother because all her kids are sick. You know, I, I'm worried about her. I mean, I know how I am with my family, and now she has it with hers, and she's taking care of mine. But I guess once you start to get married, you know, they're engaged. They're going to be married soon. Um, hers is mine. Mine is hers. Well, she treats my daughter very nicely. I, I She's got a, like a relationship like I had with my mother-in-law, where my mother-in-law just treated me like I was her daughter um so I know I'm rambling so as for me I'm coughing today um I took my flu shot like the day before Christmas Eve and I it was like the flu shot and another one um I think uh shingles um they wouldn't give me the flu shot. At the, they wouldn't give me the COVID shot because, one, I forgot my card. It was at my regular doctor's uh, office, and I forgot to bring my card. And, two, they said, you, you don't, you're going to feel like total crap. <laughs> like, you take them both together, you're not going to feel good. So I mistakenly should have been a little bit more responsible. And that's my booster, not my, my regular. I already have the two. My... So I'm feeling it today. I'm congested. I'm not too bad. My father, I'm he's getting over it. He had it last week. He's now um he's able to go out now. He's very tired, so we're not sending him met very many places, but he's like he, you can't keep him in the house unless he loses his mind he he needs to be able to go out so he's at that point now where they're saying that um you know once you've had it x amount of days and he's had it f over a week um i don't think he had anything to do with uh jessica getting it i think he got it on his own um just from being out and about and he too he has his booster he didn't get it bad um he just is very, very tired now. And you can see I'm I'm running out of juice. I mean, I'm eight minutes into this and I feel like I've done a whole workout. Um, I'm going to go back to bed. My husband is home from the hospital. I think I'm, I'm like rambling. I don't even remember what I've told you about uh, eight minutes ago. He's, he's locked in his room. He's... Uh, I'm downstairs. I'm not with him. Uh, he's in our bedroom. And uh, nobody's allowed in his room. I throw food at the door. And the poor guy was in isolation for a month. Comes home. Expects to be with the family. Wants to be with the family. And is now locked out. <laughs> <coughs> he's locked out from being with us. So, yeah, oh my God, I'm wiped. I'm at nine minutes and I'm like, can I make it to 10? I'm going back to bed. Um, my father's going out for some supplies. And then uh, we're just bringing in food. Um, nobody's cooking. Not we're just every day going to just bring something in. So that's about it. I will see you guys tomorrow, I guess, the next day. Take care. Bye-bye.